last night so he can just enjoy it while it lasts because when school starts manifesting your goals and your dream the secret to doing a vision board is to find photos that emotionally charge you i actually have an image of a woman who looks very dainty and delicate i am feeling the lifestyle she must have that's exactly the classic dainty look that i want to have this year when it comes to the way i express myself to the world it's like little photos that i took on my iphone and i just printed them out definitely going for a more classic simplistic dainty look this year including dainty staple piece jewelry my most favorite jewelry company is Ana Luisa guys and I think it's just so perfect to talk about my Ana Luisa jewelry pieces this is a necklace that I don't never take off my mom gave this to me so it's very sentimental and then I always wear my Ana Luisa C necklace and um, Ana Luisa bracelet I've been wearing it since last year it's feminine but also stylish I love that they're hypoallergenic I just never ever get sick of these pieces. They're all made with sustainable recycled materials and they are carbon neutral. They have a two year warranty and you can definitely store it in your Ana Luisa jewelry bags that come when you purchase your jewelry. And I got a whole bunch of Ana Luisa jewelry pieces to keep me thriving all year long. If you want to see the new jewelry pieces that I got, keep watching. I'm trying to start school next week and I still have not gone any school supply shopping. Also in preparation for my new year, I need to get some stuff for work. We're going to go to Target. I'm just waiting for my son to wake up right now because he was up playing some video games last night. So he can just enjoy it while it lasts because when school starts, I've been doing some editing. It's my monk mode video. It might already be out, so I will insert card here. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer for him to get up and get ready so we can head out. I gotta stop by the school and then head to Target. If I have additional time and energy, cause I'm pretty tired today, then I might start working on my vision board because I always start a new vision board for my new year. This is pretty much my vision board. So we'll see what the day brings. Come hang out with me. And if you got stuff to do today, let's get it done together, sis. We just got to Daniel's school. Daniel, say hi to the vlog. Hello. So I'm gonna go grab his school packet. You wanna come with me? No. Okay. Stop that coffee or tea. It's the regular green tea matcha. Cheers. Our school supply list. Now we're gonna head up to the school supply section. There you go, Daniel. You got your new school bag for your eighth grade. No. Is it like this? Sure. Secure the bag. What's up, guys? I am back. And then I bring the camera down. Okay, that's why I look so red. Okay, I had to get some things for work. Pink binder. It was only like $4.99. They had different colors and um, size widths, extra pockets. Um, I also got myself some really cute pens, really aesthetic. So I got these pencil case, mini stapler, and it comes with staples, sheet protectors, push pins. They're succulent plants. There's no reason for me to literally get six pins for $7. However, I feel like this is worth it because it's going to motivate me to do my vision board and vision boards are priceless. Yeah, that's how it looks. It's so cute. Got this Swiss bag. It's very heavy duty and form fitting and you can even put his like laptop in there. <laughs> That's what I got from Target, and um, they had everything that you need as they normally do.
this is a bit personal to me but i am just showing it just to give you guys a really easy way to an affordable way to create your own vision board i use a cork board because you can reuse it i also get push pins that i got from daiso that i've been using for three years now recently got these really cute push pins definitely want to add more to my uh, 401k this year. So I always put like certain quotes that I want to feel when I read them. Words that make me feel powerful. That's just a constant reminder that I put in my closet because I visit it almost every day. Okay, guys, it's the next morning. It's the next day. I don't mind my pants. I was washing dishes and I always get my clothes wet when I do that. So I'll do a little mini TJ Maxx haul. I actually got this rosemary and mint shampoo and conditioner. A request from my son. He was looking for tea tree because it's good for your hair, but I found rosemary and mint, which is just as good. Towels, I'm gonna put this in my beauty room. And then I've got these really fun nails. They're actually velvet. I'm concerned that I'm gonna burn out, so I need to find little ways to make me feel more happy and relaxed and not so intense and serious even though I'm still in monk mode. Whenever things are more prettier or aesthetic, then it just puts a nice smile to my heart. Change these out because this is more for like spring time. Fall is like my favorite season, actually. Just wanna change the little vibe in the space. Um, but yeah, so cute. Also got these lashes yesterday. They're like wispies. They are from Ardell Naked Lashes. I think it's about maybe almost 9 a.m. I've been up for a while. I had to post a video to get it out. I did not forget about my vision board. I'm definitely going to be putting them up, but I feel like I want to do my nails really quickly. So I'm really feeling orange. So these are the nails. This actually is going to be a part of a clip for another video that I'm shooting today. So when you see me, I will have orange nails on. So here are my nails. So fun and playful. Now I can get on with my day. So let's place these photos on my vision board. Starting with these cute little succulent pins. I'm gonna get this vision board done and then yeah, I'll give you guys a quick look when I'm done. actually a two-year planner. We are on the second year. I always start with my non-negotiables. So my non-negotiables is my son's schedule, my work schedule, and then my YouTube channel. My son just started his school year and they give you a academic calendar. So what I like to do is pre-fill out the whole year's worth of all his vacations, school breaks, and all that stuff. So that's what I'm gonna take care of first. And then I have a whole bunch of like colorful pens and highlighters because I do like to make mine a little bit more aesthetic because it just makes me more excited when I look at my year. I have these really cute like post-its and stickers that I just got and I wanna use. I like to color, color coordinate it. So blue is Daniel, pink is gonna be my work. My YouTube channel, I will make it orange. busy month for my son another month so this is my work schedule so normally i would also input that but i'm gonna hold off the reason is because my work schedule is going to change i am going to be starting the five seeds of effective leadership for work it's like 12 weeks any opportunity to grow and i know i don't talk about my work very much and that's on purpose, but I am heavily involved in my work. I'm really excited to take these courses. I actually am running behind, guys. Just wanted you guys to get the idea, plus I'm really, really tired and I have to get on to the next thing. In addition to today, I'm also filming another video, so if you see me wearing this outfit in the next video, just know. My brain is a little bit combobulated, so I'm gonna take a break. I still wanna stay productive. I am gonna go get my car washed, especially because it's a new year. I want everything nice and clean. I'm to my car and I'm gonna be 
be heading to get my car washed because my car is dirty. So I just made it to the car wash place and this place is super packed. Well, it's going all the way around. So that took a very long time and I ended up getting a Starbucks double shot energy because I actually need that. It has B vitamins, ginseng, and guarana. Yeah. And then I also got this squash um, smelling refill. The guy was like literally kicking me out. That's funny. <laughs> The next day, I had such a blast um, filming my other video yesterday and I watched the wonderful Barbie movie. So I got home late and I just went straight to bed. I do have work today. Those orange nails did not do anything for me. And so I just put the pink ones on. I definitely wanted to do the unboxing. I'm so excited to show you guys my new jewelry pieces for the year. Beautiful and delicate. Look at that. This one's got like little diamonds on them. I don't know if you can see it on the hoops. So pretty and dainty. This one is Lori. This is a necklace. All the packaging is all sustainable because they do care about their carbon footprint, guys. And it's just amazing to store your jewelry pieces in. These have little diamonds on them. They're made with high quality materials. Yeah, these don't tarnish, they're hypoallergenic. I'm probably gonna wear these today, so I'm gonna put them in my ears. This is the Nava Huggy. This is definitely old money style, just very minimal jewelry pieces. And these are the ones that I got replaced. These are called the Shane earrings. I just love it, it's so unique. This has one backing but it's a chain that actually wraps around your earlobe. And then in the front is a little diamond. Yep. This is the Heritage. I'll actually put a picture up because I just don't think it's showing up as much as, as well as I want it to, but it's a layered chain jewelry. Uh, if you're looking for more richer or classier looks, you should definitely check out Ana Luisa. It's like beautiful pieces that are just like timeless. It's just like the right amount of bling. It's nothing crazy. So you can definitely wear it every single day. So again, this is Heritage necklace. Oh, this is something that I was really excited. Look at this piece, guys. Adjustable bracelet. So it's perfect for layering, guys. Isn't that so cute? This is called Lenny, but I was so excited to get. This is the first piece that I chose. Look at that. It looks like a watch band. And this one is called Aura. This just looks so beautiful. I feel so classy. This is exactly the look that I want and the vibe and the feeling that I want to have for this year. So I'm so happy that I can start off my, my wonderful new year with all these beautiful pieces. I'm also going to be putting on these earrings. Clip right in, look how beautiful that is. All right, so then I got these. So pretty, guys. Like I already feel so much more like confident and empowered. Statement jewelry that's simple, but it says a lot. It really stands out. And I love how, again, there's not, it's like the perfect amount of bling. It's nothing too crazy. So it'll match like with everything and all my work clothes pieces because I'm more work focused this year. Speaking of that, it's only been the first couple of weeks and I already feel like I've achieved one of my goals on my inspiration board. So I'm so happy about that. And you look good, you feel good, and it just builds up more momentum. Another one of my goals is to always have nice pedicure toes and feet. I'm showing you guys, but just ready to take on my work day with such statement pieces. For these, I definitely want to make sure that I do take them off whenever I'm shower or don't get perfume or any types of chemicals on them because that will make sure that the longevity of these pieces will last a lot longer. I love layering necklaces, simple necklaces. It really adds to this, I forgot what you call it, derriere area. I got this pink folder. I think I showed you guys. I wanted to just make a label. It's just my favorite picture of me and my son and it just motivates me and why I need to work as hard as I can. This is gonna help me get really organized for the year. As I mentioned, I'm taking some leadership courses through work and, and also it's just a lot of information that I'm taking in. So I wanted to just have like a quick reference guide that I wanna work on and keep it all in here. I can have it all in one place. I just have like all these like resources that I have from work and it's just a bunch of papers. So I definitely want to organize it 
work. I was gonna do it now, but there's just no time. I have to head to work and I wanna be there earlier because I have some work stuff that I have to start. I'm still in monk mode and I've been super productive. I'm not gonna lie. Um, some days I had to push myself mentally uh, because I was overstimulated with so many thoughts and racing through my mind about so many things that I need to get done in a day. I feel that I might be able to take on more than I was doing last year as far as tasks and how many goals and things I can get done in a day. We'll see because my son returns from his dad's on Monday and of course he starts school. I really gotta find that balance. I really gotta find that pace and stay really focused. Can't really drop the ball in any of these areas because a lot of these things that I'm working on have such huge meaning like our work goals and my son, um, his starting school and making sure that, that he's being supported and I'm spending enough time with him. So it's a lot being a girl. And in fact, watching that Barbie movie last night, I don't want it to be a spoiler if you guys have not watched the Barbie movie, but it definitely was a good depiction of women roles in society and even men's roles in society. So there are a lot of pressure nowadays I feel as a woman in society where you're a mom, you gotta work, you gotta do quite a bit of the responsibilities that you didn't have. Be successful, to have a side hustle, to do a business, to have your own money. It's just a never ending pile of obligation. It is what it is and somehow we get through it and hopefully thrive. But anyway, so I'm gonna take this with me to work. Thank you guys so much for your support and watching me and I'll see you guys in my next video.